defense mechanisms. And defense mechanisms are essentially how people behave or think in response to certain stressful or traumatic life situations or events. There are about eight I want to go through, and I've broken them up into three categories. The first one is primitive. The next one I've called less primitive. And the final one is mature. Now, as you go down this list, the more mature a defense mechanism is, the more effective it is long term. So that's how you can think about it. Primitive is sort of something that you do um, to compensate short term, but it's not very effective long term. You want to get into this category to have a defense mechanism that is appropriate in coping with the stressful life event long term. So I'll go through four of them that are primitive three of them that are less primitive, and one that's mature. So let's start with the primitive defense mechanisms. The first one is called denial. Denial essentially is referring to when a person refuses to accept reality. One common example is a patient who is an alcoholic, and he basically denies having a drinking problem no matter what you tell him or no matter what the family tells him in complete denial and this can also happen in certain medical conditions where a person is diagnosed let's say with cancer and he just refuses to accept it the next primitive defense mechanism is known as regression regression is basically referring to when a person goes back to an earlier stage of development. Essentially what that means is that he or she is behaving the way he or she did perhaps 10-15 years ago. A perfect example of that is you have a teenager who all of a sudden is faced with some stress or some problems and he starts to wet the bed. So obviously this is regression. He's regressing back to an earlier stage of his life because normally you don't wet the bed when you're in your teens that's something that a child would do the next primitive defense mechanism is projection projection essentially is referring to when someone projects their undesired thoughts onto someone else a good example of this is let's say you have a man who's married and he has thoughts of infidelity he thinking about cheating but then he starts to accuse his wife that she's cheating on him so it's a classic scenario where a person has these undesired thoughts and doesn't know how to cope with them so he starts to project them onto someone else and the example of the husband is a perfect uh, scenario the next one that's in the primitive category is reaction formation this essentially is referring to when a person converts unwanted or dangerous beliefs or feelings into the opposite. Where you can kind of think about this is a situation in which you are responding in essentially the opposite way of what you would think. So a perfect example of this is let's say you have someone, it could be anybody, and she let's say has a job and she hates her boss. Now instead of what you would think how she would respond she's actually behaving in the exact opposite way. She's kind to him and generous to him and this is obviously opposite of how she actually feels. So that is an example of a reaction formation. Now let's get into the next category which is the less primitive types of defense mechanisms. And the first one is repression. Repression basically is when a person blocks unacceptable thoughts from the past, unacceptable thoughts or memories. An example of this is when someone genuinely 
does not remember any details of, say, their father's funeral. It was such an unacceptable memory that you have genuinely blocked it out from your brain and you can't remember anything about it. The next one in the less primitive category is displacement. Displacement is a classic example of taking it out on someone else. So for example, a man is very angry with his boss at work, can't take it out on his boss because he'll lose his job, so he comes home and instead starts a fight with his wife. He can also come home and maybe hit his kids or get angry with his kids. Classic example of taking it out on somebody else, taking out your anger or frustrations on somebody else. The next one is rationalization. This is basically when someone is putting something into a different light and they do that by offering a different explanation. So a perfect example of that is let's say you have a woman who is rejected, dumped uh, by a man that she really, really liked. And when that happens, she reacts by saying, well, he was a loser all along. So basically, she's trying to put the situation in a different light by offering a different explanation, and that's a defense mechanism that she's using. Rationalization. The final defense mechanism I wanted to talk about is in the mature category, and that is known as sublimation. Sublimation is basically when a person channels unacceptable actions into a more acceptable one. So doing something positive when you're faced with some problem. So a perfect example is that is a teenager who has violent behavior at school and with the support of his teachers and guidance counselors, he joins the wrestling team and uses his aggression in a positive way to become a very successful wrestler and starts winning medals and trophies. A few clinical vignettes now. Pathologist receives a phone call from a patient who was diagnosed with a 15 centimeter recurrent mediastinal seminoma. During the conversation, it becomes clear that despite the patient's obvious intelligence, the man really doesn't understand this His disease is probably incurable. The patient keeps talking about his long-term plans for the future and believes that the pathologist must have misunderstood how big his tumor was. Later, the surgeon tells the pathologist that he has spent 12 hours over the last six months trying to explain the prognosis to this patient. The patient is most likely using which defense mechanism? Well, this patient is clearly intelligent, but he is so stressed out about this that he cannot accept the reality. And this is a classic example of denial. 27-year-old swimmer who feels insecure about her athletic abilities harshly criticizes her teammates' technique. Which of the following ego defense mechanisms is she using? Well, this example is when a person is projecting their own undesired thoughts onto somebody else. So she is actually very insecure about her abilities. So she's projecting that onto her teammate. So that is projection. 32-year-old man is in a twice-weekly insight-oriented psychotherapy with a psychiatrist. Recently, the patient has been exploring his thoughts and feelings around his wife's complaint that he is too restricted and inhibited in their sexual activity. The patient admits that he wishes to be more sexually available for his wife, but finds himself maintaining a restricted stance. Which of the following defense mechanisms would best describe the patient's tendency in a sexual relationship with his wife? In this question, what's happening is the patient is responding in the opposite way. He definitely, as he says, admits he wishes to be more sexually available for his wife, but he's responding in the exact opposite way, which is maintaining a restricted stance. And that's a classic example of reaction formation, where you convert a feeling into the opposite. Next question. There is a classic zoo story about a cage with three monkeys in it. The largest monkey steals the middle-sized monkey's banana. The middle-sized monkey then screams with rage, hits the smallest monkey on the head, and then steals his banana. The middle-sized monkey is using which of the following defense mechanisms? Well, what's happened here is a classic example of taking it out on other. The middle-sized monkey is very angry that his banana was stolen, but he cannot respond with anger to the larger monkey 
So what does he do? He takes it out on the smaller monkey. So it's a classic example of taking it on somebody else, and that's displacement. And finally, 17-year-old girl loses her best friend in an automobile accident. After the death, she starts writing for hours daily in her diary. This would most likely be an example of which of the following defense mechanisms. She's obviously traumatized by this event. Her best friend, I'm assuming, is very similar in her age, died as a teenager, and now she cannot spend time with her friend or talk to her friend. This is a very undesirable thing that's happened in her life. So she's channeling it into something more positive. By doing what? By writing for hours daily in her diary. And that helps her cope with this. It's a positive defense mechanism known as sublimation.